today we're joined by two gold medal winners in the Great Canadian Wine Match, winemaker Norm Hardy and wine lover Joe Haché, who rallied thousands of votes for Norm's Pinot Noir to be named Canada's Best Wine with Pizza. They join me from Norm's Winery in Prince Edward County, Ontario. Welcome to you both. Great to be here, Natalie. Thanks for having us. All right, great. great. Let's uh, start with you, Joe. Um, tell me about the first time that you tasted Norm's Pinot Noir. Uh, where were you? What did it taste like? Well, we, we moved to the county just for the wines. And one of the first wineries that we came to was Norm Hardy Winery. And he introduced me to this Pinot Noir. I fell in love with it. it it's just incredible. And later on, we tried it with pizza and it blew my mind. <laughs> and, and how did it strike you taste-wise? Um, you know, medium, full body? Uh, like how would you describe it to someone who's never tasted Norm's Pinot Noir? Well, I, I'm a white wine drinker, and I don't drink a lot of red wine, but I came in here and this big gregarious guy said, Joe, you got to try my red wine, my Pinot Noir. And I don't like a heavy red wine, and this, it, it, it's just pure heaven. It's a, I, I love Pinot Noir now, and Norm's introduced me to Pinot Noir. That's so terrific. We've got one more. We've got one more <laughs> <laughs> That's great. And um, I'll just throw in my two cents because I've, of course, tasted Norm's entire lineup, uh, including his wonderful Chardonnays and Pinot Gris. But I, I especially love the Pinot Noir because I find they're just like liquid satin, fresh cherries, yet really in balance and great with food. So before we go to Norm, um, Joe, tell me why you think uh, Norm's Pinot Noir pairs so well with pizza. Well, it's a. Uh... I love pizza and I love wine and these two just go right together and it's kind of interesting because he actually grows vegetables for his pizza right beside his grapes. So I don't know if that has anything to do with it but it, it just matches incredibly. That's a, that's a really good point. Norm, tell us a bit about um, this Pinot Noir first and then we'll talk about it pairing with the pizza. But uh, what is different about your county unfiltered Pinot Noir from say your other Pinot Noirs? Uh, give us a sense of what makes this wine different. I. Well, I primarily make two Pinots, one from Niagara and one from the county, and once in a while we do my QAL reserve. Um, the big difference with the county and Niagara is the sites in Niagara have less limestone and more clay. So they tend to be very big and full-bodied and rich, uh, whereas the county is all about purity and delicacy. Uh, we have this wonderful limestone soils, and, and the soils, these, the limestone rocks that you see in our fields, this is what gives wonderful delicacy wonderful purity, and at the same time, great layers. So we, we have a lot of flavor without the wine being very heavy. And also, the beauty of the county is we have these amazing acidities. Right. And do you think um, that's a key reason why um, this Pinot Noir pairs well with pizza? Um, like, is it, is it the acidity that's working, say, with tangy tomato sauce that's often part of pizza? Like, why do they pair so well? Well, I think, you know, um, I, if you look at, uh, if you go to Tuscany, and the foundation of their cooking is the tomato, and they've got great Sangiovese that has amazing acidity, um, and it works. And we, with our with our uh, pizzas, they're primarily um, San Marzano based uh, sauce. Uh, there's a sweetness and there's a brightness to that, and then the acidity uh, from our Pinot it just lifts all the flavors and brings it together nicely. And what would you say, uh, both of you, question for both of you, that um, Norm's Pinot Noir, which is, I think, one of the flagship wines in Canada, that's just um, overkill for pizza, like it's this out-of-whack, shabby-chic kind of combo. What are you doing pairing it with pizza? Why not duck à l'orange or something more fancy? Well, you know, um, pizza is a bit like a sandwich. To make a great sandwich, it's really hard. Um, and uh, we, we've, we, we've brought the two best uh, pizza chefs in Toronto. We've worked in Italy, they've worked at Toronto's, they've worked at Libretto's um, to make our pizzas. So we're making something that is so simply beautiful. Um, and, and it's something that we can do on our patio. And everyone loves pizza. Um, so we now do pizza and pino on the patio. And it is a bit of the shabby chic, but. Um, uh, it is where it is, and great pizza, everyone loves it, and it works well with it, works beautifully with the Pinot. And, and make no mistake about it, we have this Pinot with other meals at home, <laughs> but there, there's nothing better than sitting out on the patio in the sun with pizza and Pinot, as Norm says. 
Oh, awesome. Um, and Joe, what is your favorite type of Norm's pizza that you like with his Pinot Noir? Oh, I, I like a, a red sauce because it actually matches right in. Uh, but I think you have seven different pizzas out there. But if, for me, it's red sauce a, and a little bit of uh, pepperoni with vegetables. And I'm actually, my mouth is watering right now. We have a pizza right here in front of us. <laughs> uh, I, my favorite is... Um, my favorite is we've got uh, a sausage pizza. It's made with meat from the county. It's made by Angela Bean, who's uh, a recognizable uh, both at the LCBO and as a sausage curator. So he um, has worked some leaves into the, into the sausage when he's made it, made it from our from our own uh, from our own wine. And uh, the sausage pizza has been a huge hit this summer. Wow! And you you mentioned you have a pizza there with you. Can you hold it up and show us and make our mouths water even more? Yeah, this is our. This is this is your classic this is our classic margarita, very simple tomato, a little bit of the basil, fior latte, buff, young mozz, buffalo mozzarella, and a little bit of basil. Nice and simple, perfect, and red sauce based. You know. Of oh, wow, you've done your job. Um, tell us too, Norm, about the. Um, the way you adapt the the pizza dough, you were um, I think mentioning to me um, via email a while back. It depends on the humidity and the temperature of the day. How does that affect what kind of um, preparation you give the pizza? Well, you know, we, we we work on the basis that it's going to be it's going to be dry on Saturday and Sundays. Um, we make the dough on Thursday, so it rests beautifully over Friday. And when when we hit Saturday, uh, then it becomes a little trickier in how quick the doughs come out of the fridge and, and balancing it. And Daniel, who runs the kitchen. The guy has just got it. On those super humid days and hot, he brings the doughs out not as uh, not as fast as we do on the cooler days when it's very very dry. So that when when they stretch the dough, it's in perfect perfect uh, perfect position. And you know the dough the dough is so critical. It's, you know, going back to the sandwich, you can have the best fillings on the sandwich and terrible bread, and you have a terrible sandwich. Uh, the That's dough is absolutely critical. It is, and you know, for me, when I go to a restaurant, the bread is that that canary in the mind, the first tell if this is going to be a good meal or not. You know, it's it's foundational. Um, but bread and wine, you can't get more foundational than that, too. <laughs> um, before we wrap up uh, this uh, this part of our conversation, guys, um, tell me, uh, Norm, how did you get the idea to have an outdoor wood burning oven right on the site of the winery? Was it just a passion for pizza, or or where, when did that happen? Well, I, I've always loved great pizza, and I decided, you know, I'd worked in food and beverage for Four Seasons for a long time, and I decided if I was, I want to do something, I want to do it really, really well. And everyone loved pizza. Uh, pizza, if you, you know, it's, it's it's the heart of that and pasta in Italy are are, are the two foundations. Everyone loves it. Let's uh, let's build a beautiful oven. It's all done out of limestone. It's dry mason, and let's do it and make sure we're going to do one thing right and. And that was the idea. And we actually built the oven four summers ago. We had it ready in August. And there was a lot of pressure to open it. But we just weren't ready. So we did all the over the winter. We got everything in place so that when we opened it, we opened on a very, very high note. And only, we only went higher. Wow. Terrific idea. Um, so we're going to wrap up our conversation, this part of it. But we're going to come right back. And we're going to talk more about the county and um, some other wine-related stuff. So thank you for this part. Cheers. Perfect. There you go. Cheers. <laughs> <Don't> <laughs>